I'm Owen Biglen. This is the Inside Edge video blog. We're now into late spring 2019. Wanted to give you just a quick snapshot here, peel back the curtain here on where my business is right now, what I'm seeing from the front lines, the type of clients I'm working with, and the type of homes that I'm selling right now. So, as we all know, the Vancouver market has been in a uh, in a, sl a sales slump as far as sales volume go goes. Sales are down somewhere around 35 percent. Now, for me, on the other hand, it's been a busy spring, one of the busiest springs I've had, and I'm selling homes to a lot of first-time buyers, of course, people that are buying homes as a principal residence. But I also do a lot of work with investors, and I've had a lot of investors in the first four months of this year step up and starting to buy units again. Now, I should t point out to people that I always am working with a lot of investor clients. 2017 and 2018 were big years for me as well. I have a lot of clients like myself that just kind of systematically buy every two or three years. They wait till they get the down payment together. And whether it's a buyer's or a seller or a balance market, they'll pull the trigger. Now, this first four months of 2019 though have been especially busy. So I wanted to just kind of give you some insight on where I see things and where some of my experienced investors are kind of thinking on this as well. Now, so far this year, I've had a lot of good quality boutique buildings, mid-sized buildings, concrete, anywhere from eight to 12 years old that I've been able to purchase to my or get for my clients at anywhere between 1,010 to 1,075 a square foot. So under $1,100 a square foot. Concrete, 10-year-old building with parking. And the way that a lot of my clients look at it is they, you know, we're not stealing these units, that's for sure. At least not the good ones, you never do. But we're getting them at a fair price, maybe 5% below what they were selling for at this time last year. But the important thing is we're not in some crazy bidding war where we're not having to offer 20, 30, $40,000 over asking price. Now, they look at it from the standpoint where vacancy is incredibly low still in Vancouver, around 1%. They can put a tenant in it at $2,200 a month and just keep the thing for 10, 15, 20 years. That's how my experienced investors work and that's how I've always worked as well. When you consider that, I've talked about it many times here, that all the future development from this point on in downtown Vancouver is gonna be at 16, 17, 18, 2,000 a square foot and up. So in my opinion, and a lot of my investors, is when you can buy a good quality unit for under 1,100 a square foot, you're doing pretty well. And if you hang on to it, I think you'll do fantastic. Now, also, you know, I've talked about having a positive mindset, being optimistic, looking for opportunities. And I tell people that opportunities are all over the place and it's the same thing with my experienced investors. They see it the same way. I see so many opportunities down there if you just know where to look and keep an eye open for things. I'm not gonna give away my secrets here and I'm not gonna give away some of the buildings that I like or give you specifics. That's taken me 10 years to cultivate. But, you know, look at some of the things that are going on. The Georgia Viaduct's getting torn down here. That's going to completely transform that neighborhood uh, and what they're going to be doing around Science Center there. The new St. Paul's Hospital in the Flats area. Um, I read just recently that they're selling Tinseltown now, the mall down on Pender Street. You know, there's opportunities and these neighborhoods are going to be completely gentrified here. If you can get in at 1,000 or 1,100 a square foot, vacancies at next to zero, and keep the thing, you can't help but make money on these. And that's the way most of my seasoned investors look at it as well. And that's the way you should. If you think you're gonna get a better buying opportunity, because I've got clients that are kind of waiting for a little bit better time, I understand that and by all means do it. But I'm under the belief that if the right unit comes along, that makes sense, you can afford it comfortably, leave yourself a buffer, pull the trigger on it. And I think you'll do fine over time. I'm Owen Biglin. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.